WJTV 12's Griffin Hardy is live from the Gulf Coast with more. Griffin. We are set up live on the side of Highway 90 in past Christiane, and I like what Ken talked about, the, how the uh, northeastern quadrant of the storm is where a lot of the action will be, because we're on the northwestern side of the storm, and if you were not paying any attention to the forecast, you would have no idea that there is a potentially landfalling hurricane that's going to be happening later tonight, because look at all these blue skies. You have blue skies and just a light northeast breeze coming in at about 15 miles per hour, gusts probably to 25, and you would just you wouldn't know it because we have dry air wrapping around the circulation, but it is going to make a world of difference what side of the storm you're on. I'm sure we've talked to you about that plenty of times, but uh, those of you that are going to be on the east side of the circulation are going to be feeling a lot of the impacts, the flooding, the winds, the down power lines, things like that. So the storm itself is more than likely going to track right up the Highway 49 corridor, at least according to all the short-term model guidance that I've looked at. So it's going to be really important to just have a way to get your weather warning information. And the best way to do that, of course, is by downloading the weather app. For now, we're more than likely going to be packing up and heading off to the east and getting closer to the center of the storm, which should more than likely be making landfall somewhere near Pascagoula or Biloxi. But for now, we're reporting live in Pascagoula, Mississippi. Meteorologist Griffin Hardy, WJTV 12. Back to you in the studio.